It's CSV TV's We Rewind. Welcome to another episode of CSB TV Rewind. Today's Rewind shows are Trey Olds from The Show Must Go On, Fab from Musical Interlude, and Ben Winter of The Gold Mine. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Show Must Go On. Today's guest, we have actor, voice actor, and radio show host, Trey Olds. Let's get this show started. Okay, so first talk about um, your bio. It said you are an actor and a voice actor. How did you get started in that um, career? How did you start acting? Well, I started when I was 13, uh, I, when I lived in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I met a friend who was in the radio business, Scott Ennis. He was a radio host and a voice actor, and I just met him by chance, pure coincidence, chance, or fate, or whatever you'd like to call it. And uh, he said, Trey, you have a unique voice. Uh, you should get into this type of business. Uh, it's doesn't pay a lot of money you, I mean certain jobs does but if you have the craft for it if you love doing voices and being an actor or doing theater then this is the business for you and uh, he says so reach out to some people and try it and so I did I went online and uh, found a few uh, companies that were uh, hiring or uh, were seeking out voice actors for some projects uh, and I uh, did a demo tape of voices uh, and narrations and uh, I got a little gig and um, that's where it all started and then I transitioned to uh, radio my radio show which is what I still do now With that said how did you start how did you get into the radio show how did you start that and, and I believe you were how old were you when you started that show 13 how did that happen well, I was always interested in uh, radio and comedy and television and acting, and I was just started in the business with doing narrations, and radio seemed like the next step, and uh, I went, uh, I figured out how do I do that, how do I start my own podcast, and I went with a company called Spreaker uh, Podcasting, and uh, I record my show with them and it broadcasts with uh, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, uh, YouTube. And uh, it started from there. And for the first two years, I did uh, music. I was a disc jockey. So I played country music, jazz music, rock music, any kind of music. And then in 2015, I had the idea of interviewing actors because uh, I wanted to learn more experience uh, because I was a, a incoming actor and wanted to find actors uh, who were in the business uh, a long time than me and uh, get their advice and they could share not just their advice to me but to the viewers on the show and it reached out to a lot of people. I was surprised with the first interview uh, it reached to a lot of people and it kept growing and growing and I'm still interviewing people and I enjoy it. It's fun. <laughs> Talking with people with music in their genes, their blood and in their soul. You are watching Musical Interlude. Hello and welcome to another episode of Musical Interlude. I'm your host, Casey Bell, and today's guest, I'm speaking to Neil Fitzsimmon of Fab, Fitzsimmon and Broken. He talked to me about his journey in the music business. Let's take a listen. My first question for you is, when did you 
first come into the knowledge that you had some music abilities? When did you start uh, and find, uh, find that out? Um, I, I, mean, I always, I always like lo love music when I was a, a kid and everything. Uh, I suppose it was quite late, really. I mean, I didn't get my first guitar till I was about 17 or 18. So uh, that's when I was, yeah, I decided it. Uh, I wasn't satisfied with just listening to music. I wanted to learn an instrument. And it just went on from there, really. Okay. Um, what was the inspiration for you to choose to create music in the genre of 60s rock? Um, well, I, I was, my mum and dad were uh, huge Beatles fans, and I was brought up on that music. Uh, but I think the reason, one of the reasons was David Bowie as well, his guitarist, Mick Ronson. I was... Uh, um a big fan of uh what he did uh and i'll say that yeah i just liked all that melodic type um pop music of the 60s um i was brought up on that um by my parents and uh yeah that's what i really got into and that's what uh i wanted to try and write i i, I took up playing the guitar so that i could write songs it was that was one way of doing it cool so if you can, I know every time I ask this question, it's difficult for people to answer it, but yeah. how did you get into the business and what did you use? Because there really is no book no. on how to get into the business. There's no school, there's no, no. map. So what uh, did you do and how did you know to do it? Um, well, I, I did the, the normal thing really. Um, once I uh, you know, could play the uh, guitar to a certain standard i was writing songs all the time and some of them are probably really terrible as well but uh eventually must have been some improvement I, then uh i was in a group where they were doing all my songs in the group and i was the main writer uh and then we got some interest from uh small record labels um which then led to um getting reviews in the uh, the big music papers in the uk like the melody maker um and and yeah just doing gigs and and sending um you know like tapes in and everything like that to labels and then eventually um after well it took a while, it took a few years we got signed to an indie label um yeah but i i, I was, you know i there were there, there were signs before we ever um before we ever got with a label that we were doing something right because we were getting interest from people And welcome to another episode of The Gold Mind. I'm your host, Casey Bell, and let's get started with Business Assistant. If you are an entrepreneur, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, and you haven't heard of Smart Hustle, check out smarthustle.com. Smart Hustle Media inspires and educates small business owners to start and grow successful businesses. They do this through their events and online content. They serve business owners who are focused on building profitable businesses that can provide for their families, their team members, and their community. They do have a emailing list. If you go to their website, um, you can join their emailing list and they'll re you'll receive emails on their upcoming events. Um, obviously for the pandemic, all of their events are online at the moment, but prior to the pandemic, they did have you know events and, and locations. They have a whole bunch of articles on their website to help you with money and marketing and operations, leadership and technical. Um, things of business. They also have a podcast as well on their website with information on entrepreneurship and business owning. It's then Ray, Raymond Ray is the founder and editor. He is an entrepreneur who started four companies and sold two. He's an author of four books, an event producer and an in-demand keynote speaker. His latest book is Celebrity CEO, How Entrepreneurs Can Thrive by Building Community and a Strong Personal Brand. Their values is to have fun and to do the right thing. 
if we can't have fun and enjoy what we're doing, we don't want to do it. This doesn't mean that some things we do are not fun, like bookkeeping or taxes or analytics, but overall, we want to work with fun people who are doing fun things. Their values, doing the right thing is important. In fact, it's more important than having fun. Everything we do for our clients and our community, we want to ensure that we do the right thing for them and ourselves. Their purpose is to inspire and educate small businesses excuse me, small business owners to start and grow successful businesses. And their mission statement is to inspire and educate 1 million small business owners to start and build successful businesses by the year 2025. For more information on Smart Hustle, go to smarthustle.com. It is a great resource for business owners and entrepreneurs, whether you've been in the game for a long time, not that long, or you're just starting, or you haven't even started yet. They have some great information on there on how to begin. That's been your business assistant. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You know what we should talk about today? We should talk about expectations because everybody loves talking about their expectations. No, they don't. Okay, so everybody's upset in the world today because the only reason anybody ever gets upset is because an expectation hasn't been met. So if we could talk about expectations more, maybe people would be less upset, don't you think? Well, if you knew what expectations were, where they came from, and what to do when you were upset, you personally could be a happier person. And I just so happen to have a book on the subject, so check it out, read it, and let me know what you think. Have a great day. Welcome back to The Gold Mind. Our next segment, I interview Ben Winter, an author, as well as an entrepreneur. His business, Success Improv, helps businesses build better teams. Let's take a listen to our interview. So welcome to The Gold Mind. Thank you for joining me, Ben Winter. Yeah. Um, so the first question I have for you, did you grow up in an entrepreneurial family? You know, it's kind of funny you met, you actually asked that question. Uh, growing up, I didn't think so um, because my dad left at the same time every day. He went to an office every day. Like he did the corporate life from what I could tell. And um, it turned out he was an independent insurance agent. So in a way, he was kind of an entrepreneur in that he had to generate his own money. Um, but I didn't know that. He never taught me that. And so I, I grew up thinking I had to go into corporate life and um, so that was the first thing that I did. <laughs> so no, it, it took me 10 years of corporate life to learn that I could be something else. <laughs> so what was the inspiration? Um, what caused you to realize you needed to start Success Improv? What caused all that? So Success Improv, I, I started uh, five years after starting a different business. And it was a combination of many different things. One was doing improv. <clears throat> excuse me one was doing improv um, another was having the business and then um, also doing a lot of personal growth work and so um, as I was doing all the all of those things it all just kind of kind of came together as like I need to teach improv to groups of people um, not for being on stage but to use these these practices in daily life and so that's kind of where that was born from and that is all for this episode of CSB TV's Rewind. To watch full episodes of these CSB TV shows, click the links in the description.